Hey, how you doing, Pat here? I want to talk to you about my Touratec Aventero helmet that I bought last fall that I just started riding with this season. And I want to tell you what I think about it and whether I'm going to keep it or not. All right, there's one thing you can't argue with. This is a good looking helmet. It is my first ADV helmet. If you happen to see the video I did where I set this helmet up, you'll know that already. If not, uh, go check that video out. This helmet is Touratec branded, made by Nex or Nex X. I'm not sure what's the proper pronunciation. I hope this shows up, but one of the coolest features I think is you have this slot here for your comm device, which it just slides up in and then it has the hole already, so there's no need to put a hole in the neck roll like I've been having to do for years. I did put a hole here to bring my microphone cable out. I initially tried using this mount for the GoPro, but found this mount works better. I like this better. It does have the ratcheting chin strap. But I must admit, it's a little hard to find when you're wearing it. Here, let me show you. When you've got this helmet on, you go to ratchet it. I mean, I'm getting better at it, but this is just kind of at a weird, there we go, unnatural angle. It just seems to be hard to get it to go up in and find it. But a simple pull like that, and it does release right away, so that's not so bad. The helmet does lock down and feels really secure, and this visor, the detents are crazy good. But a ma nasty negative about it is I've not ever been able to get it to close completely unless I use both hands. And that's kind of hard to do when you're riding down the road. Another feature this helmet has that I've never used and never will use is up top here. I'll try to show you, but up top, you can actually remove part of this and there's a GoPro mount that will go up there. I think that's pretty neat. Like most helmets nowadays, it does have the built-in sun visor. I do like it. The control right here has been a little hard to adapt to. Just for some reason, I have a hard time finding it. And the bill here, at highway speeds, it does vibrate quite a bit. There is some uncomfortable amount of vibration in this helmet. The chin vent is really easy to open and close. And if I can get it on camera, let's see. The forehead vent is easy to open and close as well. It does vent pretty darn well, I gotta give it that. All right, now let's move on to some of the negatives about this helmet. I've probably got 1,500 to 2,000 miles on it between me and my wife wearing this because no matter what I do, I just can't get it to, to fit me right. It creates a sore spot right here. At highway speeds, it presses really hard against my forehead and I don't like it. It makes it very uncomfortable. And then I'm not sure what's going on in the helmet. There's nothing I can find, nothing I can do, nothing I can adjust. It has gotten a little better, but the right side here, especially when I first started wearing it on the street, would almost push my ear closed like that to where I literally couldn't hear out of it. It has gotten a little bit better, so that part's at least broken in, but I just got back from a four day ride with this helmet, and after about a half hour on the road, it really starts to hurt right here. So this helmet just doesn't fit me right, and unfortunately, I'm gonna have to get rid of it because I can't wear a helmet that hurts all day long. It makes for kind of a yuck ride. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with this helmet, even though I went by their sizing charts, I talked to Touratech on the phone, and let me tell you, their customer service is great. I took their advice and I wore it around the house for a couple of hours and it seemed okay just wearing it around the house. The problems I found with this helmet are only after I started to ride with it. And of course, once you ride with it, I don't know anybody out there that'll let you send a helmet back. So yeah, I'm kind of out a bunch of money. And the other negative about this helmet, this is being sold at a premium price. It's not a premium helmet. I mean, I think a fair price for this helmet is 200 bucks. Not what Touratech charges online for it. I'm not gonna rip it all apart, but if you take the innards out, you can see glue slopped around everywhere inside. It's just, it's marketed as a premium helmet. It just, it just isn't as far as I'm concerned. It's a good helmet. It has all the, the really good safety ratings, the DOT, the, what is it called? The, FMVSS number 218, which I don't even know what that is. It's got the ECE 2205 rating. As I've already mentioned, made by Nexx. It's a solid, good looking helmet. It comes with the pinlock insert, which somehow I managed to lose that. I don't know how I did that, 
But anyway, it's a great looking helmet. It's got all the proper safety ratings. It just, this helmet just isn't for me. So I guess this helmet's gonna be going up for sale and I'm in the market for a new helmet. This kind of sucks. I hate losing that kind of money, but what are you gonna do? Anyway, I hope you got something out of this video. If you would, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, mash that subscribe button and bell down below and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a bunch.